Hello everyone and welcome back to the tea. So today we're talking about Ebony K. Williams and she shares her experience with R. Kelly and also supports Boozy's homosexual remarks. Are you still listening to R. Kelly or not? No, but I haven't listened to R. Kelly. I'm gonna tell you R. Kelly's story. Um, when I was an undergrad, which shit, now it was almost 20 years ago, um, two of my girlfriends and I were at uh, a show in Durham, North Carolina and R. Kelly was performing. And uh, the tape had just come out. So we were like, ah, we don't believe it. Like, we didn't see it. It was bullshit. So we go to the show. And um, I think it was Phil Robinson. You remember him from Making the Band? He was um, like the manager dude for the house. It doesn't matter. So he was there. So we recognized Phil Robinson from Making the Band. We were like, oh, shit, it's Phil. So Phil, like, tapped us and was like, do y'all want to, you know, help us count the money backstage and have breakfast and all this shit. And we were like 17 year old girls. We were like, oh my God, yeah. So we go backstage uh, and R. Kelly walks right past us. And we're like, and he, and he saw us and he, he literally was like too old, too educated, nah. And um, that, was, that was the end of the story. So it was clear to me like, he's on some shit, like for real, for real. So I'm, I've been done with R. Kelly for a very long time. Damn. That's crazy. Like he, it, it's truly predatory. Like he literally, it's it's you know. But the, the, industry, but the industry knew this for years. Yeah, yeah, it was some crazy shit, and the industry has known it. Um, and again, I think the industry will cover up for you depending on your talent level, right? Like I think if R. Kelly was less talented, shit would have gone differently. I think yeah. when you are one of the most talented individuals a generation has ever seen, the cover up goes a long way. I've been watching the show and I saw one of your recent conversations about uh, Boosie. Oh, yes. Boosie's <laughs> back in, but let's get into some topics real quick. So Boosie's back in the news today. Uh, he did an interview with our friends at uh, The Breakfast Club and he mm -hmm. doubled down on his comments about Dwayne Wade's kid. What do you think about that? Well, you know, I think it's some fuck shit, Jason. As, as I said, you know, first of all, you shouldn't be, um, you shouldn't be speaking on other people's children, period. That's that's the first thing I think about that. Let me up here. Okay. The second thing is, and I said this, I'll say it the culture, and I'll say it again. Like, the way a lot of us in the culture, Jason, come for what we perceive as homosexuality or transgender or, or anything in that bucket, as if it's a more weighted sin than anything else, let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to comment and subscribe.